It became the deadliest military conflict in human history, World War II. Over 60 million lives lost, and in December of 1944, the outcome was still uncertain. U.S. ground forces were fighting for position in the Philippine island of Mindoro. Their success depended on support from the sea. Task Force 38 was assigned to provide it. And steaming with that task force, a battleship bearing the name North Carolina was about to face not only the enemy, but a devastating typhoon as well. The story of the USS North Carolina began in Brooklyn, New York in 1937. When her keel was laid in October, it marked the first new construction of a battleship in 16 years. She was armed with the latest weapons, including nine 16-inch 45 caliber guns in three turrets. Her imposing construction earned her the nickname Showboat, but the USS North Carolina would earn far more impressive accolades in battle. She was among the ships traveling with Task Force 38 in mid-December of 1944. Under the command of Admiral William Bull Halsey, the fleet provided defense and air support to Allied forces, but was in need of refueling. A rendezvous point was set east of Luzon, but weather conditions were quickly worsening. A typhoon designated as Cobra by forecasters was quickly gaining momentum. In the days before weather satellites, the only way to detect a typhoon was either through direct observation or perhaps on the outer edge of a ship's radar. By then, of course, it was often too late to avoid. Halsey had the difficult task of balancing his orders with the need to protect his ships, all while dealing with a forecast track that was uncertain at best. He unwittingly steamed the fleet into the core of Typhoon Cobra, and with winds already nearing 100 miles an hour and strengthening, the effects were disastrous. On part two of Cobra and the Showboat, we take you into the heart of a Pacific typhoon. For WNCT, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson.